there. Here's an art ID you can do with children, and it's bubble painting. So what you'll need is some dish soap, water, and paint, okay, to get started. You're going to need some other things too, but now to make this, you'll need just any kind of dish soap you have works just fine. And you'll need mm, about a tablespoon of dish soap. You'll need a little bit of water. Just fill it up a little ways, not too high. And um, probably about two to three tablespoons of paint. The more paint you put in, the more vibrant the color will be. Okay, so then mix it up. Okay with a spoon, just get it all mixed up, ready to go, and then mix up the other one. Now, what you'll need is a straw. Your child will need one straw. Now, of course, tell them when they're, they're doing this that they're not sucking up the paint. They're blowing through the straw to make bubbles, okay? Now, what you'll also need is some paper. Now, I have tried it with printer paper and it doesn't work very well. So I don't recommend printer paper. I recommend white construction paper or even white poster board works great also. So you can cut out, now I cut out like a kite shape. You could cut out a balloon shape. You could do shapes, any color, sh any kind of shape, a circle, a square, you know, whatever kind of shape. If you do do a circle, have your child cut it out because using scissors works their small motor skills, their muscles in their hands for writing later. And it may not look like a circle when it gets done, and that's okay. Also, you could tell them, you know, just to cut out a big shape, any kind you want. This really isn't anything specific. I just cut it out. So I'm going to use this little shape here because it's out of the poster board and the printer paper doesn't work very well. So then they can take the straw, make sure it goes to the bottom of the bowl, and they blow through the straw and then watch the bubbles come up. Now your child can do this several ways. You can, they can blow and they can put their paper right here and I'll show you what happens and I'll show you another way you can do it too. So they're going to blow and then the paper is kind of popping the bubbles onto the paper and then when you lift it off you can see on there the print that the bubbles left behind and also the color. Now they could also do it like this. and just keep on blowing. And the more they blow, the bigger the bubbles will get and it's just really cool. And then press down onto it like that and then they'll have more bubbles. And then they can change colors and keep on doing it. Until they get enough. Now you can use different colors of paint. You don't need to just use two. You can use many colors and you can use, you know, another color that when you mix it together it changes colors also. So I hope you enjoy this art idea with children.